Um, yes. Do you? I don't. I do regret it. You do? Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. I'm Allie. And I'm Sam, and this is our YouTube channel. Welcome if you have not joined us before. And welcome back if you have joined us. If you've previously joined us. Yeah. Thanks for joining. What are they joining? It's like a it's cult. It's a club. It's a club. Um, cult or club. Yeah, it's a club. So today we decided that we were going to do a little Q&A. We haven't done one of these in a while. So yeah, we haven't. Over on our Instagram, we left some question boxes for people to send in their questions. And this is some of the ones we got. All right. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Cue the questions. So this is a pretty broad question, but someone said, how are you both feeling about the fertility process so far? I had been feeling really, really anxious. We've had three failed IUIs. During the two week wait for the third IUI, I was convinced I was pregnant, as you guys know, and I wasn't. Yeah. The hardest time I think in the whole journey for me was when I realized that we have to do IVF, that that's yeah. our next step. The reason that we're moving on to IVF is because it's a it's a lot more expensive, but the success rates are so much higher. But it's very expensive. It's going to be emotionally very taxing and stressful. And wait, it's also physically very going to be very taxing oh, yeah. on me because I'm going to feel like crap because of the medication. I'm going to be getting so many injections every day. It's just not going to be a fun few weeks. I've come to accept though that that's what we're doing and I feel more comfortable with the decision and I'm more excited now than scared, which is good. I feel good about it now. I did not before. I was like, this is so hard. It's not fair that we have to pay all this money when you don't have fertility issues and straight people are so privileged and fortunate to be able to just do this for free. If you have infertility, I'm grouping you with the this is not fair. You shouldn't have to pay either. Now I feel like I've accepted it and I'm like, well, it's going to be the only path really. The wait was kind of difficult at first, like it keeps getting longer and longer and longer. Every time you think you have a timeline in your head, it gets pushed. And now I'm thinking, thank you <laughs> for the wait because I got a solid eight hours of sleep the other night <laughs> and instead of my nine and I was like, oh, I'm sick. I need to have this year and a half or a year to prepare <laughs> your for sleep schedule. Sleep. <laughs> I feel better now, I'm excited. I think IVF's gonna be good. We're gonna get some good embryos and stick. And then I think once we also have the embryos frozen, hopefully we get some, it'll feel like, oh, we have little embryos waiting. It's at least they're there. Yeah. Does an IUI hurt as much as I'm expecting it to? Oh. Good question, because you really have no clue how it's gonna feel yeah. if you've never had one. Personally, my first IUI was pretty painless. My second IUI was the most uncomfortable, so I would compare it to just like period pains for maybe 30 seconds while the catheter is being inserted through your cervix into your uterus. That's uncomfortable, you're gonna feel some cramping. And then once it's in and they're inserting the sperm, cause it's still through your cervix and they leave it there for a little bit, that's uncomfortable. You'll feel some probably mild cramping, but it's really not bad. And my third one was right in between, so not as painful as my second, but not as painless as my first. In general, that's all you have to really worry about is a cramping sensation. It's not going to be probably as painful as you're thinking. How old were you both and how long did you know each other when you first moved in together? How old were we? I don't know. Ali and I started dating in 2014. We moved in together in 2016. We've been together for like a year and a half. So you'd have been 22, I would have been 24. Yes. Yeah. And it was like a year and a half. Yeah, after we'd started dating. Yeah. The reason though that it was that exact timing is that both of our leases were up in the same yeah. time. Yeah. That's how it happened. We both ha had our leases up and then we And like, we both had roommates. Yeah. So we were like, should we just move in together? We were at the point that we Yeah, ready no. To move in yeah, together. yeah. It was good. It was, it was good. good. Allie, how do you style your curls? They're always so light and bouncy. Oh, <laughs> sure. Ask me on a day where I have nothing. How do I style my curls? I'll do a very quick synopsis here. All I do is part it like this. 
it looks bad today. They're gonna say, why would you ever ask her how she does her hair? It's so ugly. So then you take a little chunk, take your curling iron and go backwards. So this was the iron, you go like that. One, two, don't do the end. So this is what my, my hair is stylist told me. Toss it in the back. That's how Allie does and then, her curls. Shh, brush it. There you go. If you're ever wondering, that's how Allie does her hair. I can show you one day. So recently on Instagram, I mentioned that I went on two Tinder dates in my life. Oh, yeah. One was with my beautiful wife. The other was to Disney. <laughs> and we some, live in Canada. What? Someone's question is, how does one go on a date to Disney World while living in Nova Scotia? That sounds like goals. <laughs> Quick story time on what happened. When I was 19, I went to Florida with my family for Christmas, but I went with my parents, my grandparents, and my brother, so I was kind of bored. I was on Tinder looking for kind of just friends, I don't know, and found this guy that worked at Disney as a sound engineer, and he was like, hey, why don't we go? So we to did. Disney. <laughs> to Disney World. <laughs> Twice we went. It was just friends. I think he gave me a hug on my, when I was like, peace out, going back to Canada. It was just nice to have a friend. A little random story time about me. What's your favorite song off of Folkmore and Oh My God? Did you just hear yeah, what I yeah, said? Yeah, it is. Evermore and Folklore. What is your favorite song off of it? First, let's give album thoughts. We love Taylor Swift. Sure, okay. But she has some feelings. I am a OG Swift fan. I know every word to every song up until Folklore. Real fan. But I think my music taste has progressed over time, as has T Swift. As has T Swift. So as she went this way, I went this way, and I'm into like soft house, electronic. I didn't mind folklore. Like I listened to a few songs a couple times. Evermore, I was actually really excited for it. And we listened and I was like, to me, every song sounds the same. And this pains me to say, because I am a huge Taylor Swift fan and I'm still a huge fan of her. I didn't love it, I haven't listened to it again, but doesn't mean I feel any different towards Taylor Swift, love her. I love folklore. <laughs> oh my oh god, my I go again. I love Folklore and Evermore. I think that they're both lovely albums. From Evermore, I'm a big fan of Champagne Problems. I also like No Body, No Crime. I also like Happiness. And I also like Marjorie. I actually like the whole album. I like every single song on it. Except for Cowboy Like Me. Folklore, okay, if I had to pick, I'd definitely pick Evermore over Folklore, although I really like Seven. I like Illicit Affairs. I like This Is Me Trying. I like yeah. Exile. Oh, Cardigan's you know, nice. Card I like Cardigan. Yeah, you liked Folklore definitely better. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. I played a lot of those on the piano. Do we share a wardrobe? Oh, yes. Allie has a smaller bum than me, so I can't wear her pants, <laughs> but yes, we share tops, we share dresses. We used to share everything, but then you got thinner <laughs> and I got bigger. It's nice. It's Double the so clothes. so nice. I can't, actually can't imagine what it would be like to be a straight person or someone with a different style than yeah. your spouse. I like it. It's nice. What are our plans for the basement? Well, plans for the basement is to put a bedroom down there, a family room, and then a laundry room slash bathroom. Yeah. And a space for my treadmill. Yes. That can go in the family room. And store. Mm, yeah. Okay. Why not? You can have a little gym in it. What are our favorite things about each other? Oh. What's your favorite thing about me, Ellie? <laughs> How do I choose? I like that you're very creative. Thank you. No. <laughs> you usually you're very supportive. That's nice. And patient. Yes, very patient, <laughs> very supportive. If I have an idea, you always say yes. I love how hardworking you are. Oh, You're thanks. very driven to I do, like do to your work. goals. Like you really work hard to get what you want in life and that's mm. very, very admirable. Oh, but thanks. I also like your outlook. Oh. Like I, I think that your like positive outlook on life is very nice. Thank you. Meet Ferguson if you haven't. Menace. He's the only boy. What is your favorite cocktail when it's not dry January? Oh yeah, so a Moscow Mule or a whiskey sour. I don't get those much, but I like them. Or anything with gin or an old fashioned. So many, I'll drink anything. My favorite would be an Aperol Spritz. Oh yeah, that's your go-to for sure. What is the biggest thing we've learned since getting married? 
Like, what is it? Learned? Marriage taught us. I don't know because it was the same. That's the thing. Like, nothing changed since we moved in together. Like, when we moved in together. This is really good advice. If you are starting to date someone and maybe moving in together, the biggest advice I could say to do is like, when we moved in, we started sharing our money. Sharing, I guess, essentially, like merging it. When you get married, it's, I think, important to talk about that beforehand or your try it out. Is. Because then you might realize one, like for us, we're really lucky. Mm -hmm. We are the same spend, type of spenders. And it's not like one of us is spending a lot more money than the other person, so we don't yeah. like resent each other for that or anything. But yeah. I think sharing finances is really hard. And well, it's not hard, it's really easy for us. But it's a big deal breaker in a lot of relationships. We see a lot of relationships struggle because of yeah, money. finances. Not necessarily what we've learned since marriage, but what we learned since being in a relationship. Yeah. Do you regret doing IUIs? Do you wish that you went directly to IVF? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yes. Do you? I don't. I do regret it. You do? Yeah, it was a lot of money that we could have spent better. But I, here's the thing with fertility stuff. It's always luck of the draw. There's yeah. never a guarantee. There's always a chance, a certain chance it'll work, a certain chance it won't, you're gambling. Yeah. That's just how it works. We gambled on three IUIs and lost. And the thing is, I feel like it could have worked. So it if could've. we did IVF right away, I might have forever said, oh, imagine we tried an IUI and it worked the first time and we saved all that money. Like you would have wondered what if forever, I think. Yeah. I think maybe. it was good to try and there must be a reason that we tried. No, I don't regret it. I think it was meant to be part of the process. Yeah, maybe. It's meant to be. It was meant to be. I don't know why. It'll get us to where we end up though. Yeah. Like now it's part of our journey. We can't change it, so I guess there's no point in regretting it. What brought us to Nova Scotia? That's where we live. Oh. What brought us here? I kind of came randomly to go to university. I applied to, I think, four universities and I got into all of them. Looks like they're surfing in Nova Scotia. You got me. So I went. <laughs> and I also, so I'm from PEI originally, I also came here for university and then I met Allie when I was in university and we decided to stay here. We'll never leave. People ask us that all the time. Do you think you'll leave? And honestly, probably not. No, we will never leave Nova Scotia. I feel like, well, this is our new home. And your parents are close. My parents are in Ontario, which is COVID land, so they're gonna move here. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have to. As soon to. as we have a kid, they'll move. But when it's nice. I mean, we did buy a house here. We love Nova Scotia. We love, it. we so love our nice. friends. We have so many nice friends here now that are like family-ish, you know? Yeah. We've made a really nice life here. Yeah. Also, I think some people are under the impression we live in like a small town. But like, really? we live in a pretty big oh, city. Oh, we live in like the biggest city in Eastern Canada. Yeah, yeah. besides Mo like everything east of Montreal, this is the best, the biggest city. Oh the best my, the no, we hate small towns. Yeah, Ooh, yikes, we're both from we small towns. We just heard what this, that we have what, 400, 450,000 people yeah. here in the city? It's a big place. It's a big place. <laughs> people have asked about merch, so I said over on Instagram that I am creating new merch for us for 2021, but I haven't decided what is going on it yet. So if there's anything that you guys would really like oh. to see on a t-shirt, let us know down in the comments and we will see what we can do because I'm really interested in what you guys want. If there's a winner, we'll send you one. Oh, too. if you come like, up with a design that we're really, yeah, we'll send it to you. Like, don't, I mean, don't, don't make design. design. We, like, that deserves payment, not a free shirt. Yes. <laughs> Ideas. Yeah, so if you're have an idea. <laughs> I have to say this. Someone in the question box just said, you has COVID-19. No, we don't. No. Oh, somebody said, where have you lived other than Nova Scotia? We've lived in Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. I lived in PEI. That's where I'm from. I spent a summer in Quebec. Oh, yeah. Then we both lived in Australia together. Well, not really together, but we went, you know the story. Yeah. We spent a good period of time in California. Yeah. We didn't technically live there, but we did yeah. get to visit for an extended period of time at one point. That was lovely. Where have you lived? So, Ontario. 
South Carolina, I did an exchange there, which seems funny to like only go to the US, but it was really cool. Then Australia, California for a while. Actually, that's quite a few places for us to have lived. I suppose. Somebody asked if we have any trips coming up, and that answer is a big fat no. We are staying safe and sound here in Nova Scotia. We literally would not dream of leaving Nova Scotia because first of all, so anyone coming into Nova Scotia needs to quarantine for two weeks. That's not for me. Second of all, it's too dangerous. We have barely any cases and they're all like people who come in to Nova Scotia and they've been isolating. So there's yep. like, there's no community spread right now. We are very it's lucky. It's so nice. We're so grateful to be in such a safe spot. There's actually an article from the New York Times that's like, Nova Scotia is the safest place in North America. Yeah. Well, PEI and Newfoundland are probably also. Also, a big part of that isn't just us getting sick. We want to protect our community. Yeah. And we want to do our part on not bringing anything in. When everyone here, we've been so careful and we all work yeah. so hard as a community to keep everyone healthy we would not want to be selfish and just travel for our i mean we'd love to travel we miss it so much but it feels a little selfish yeah to we'd right love now. to and we can there's nothing stopping us there isn't no but it's wrong and that's just <laughs> how we feel yeah i mean i know other people feel differently but we just want to do our part to keep our community safe yeah somebody wants to know ali you once said that you hated cats I know. How did you overcome that hatred of cats to be obsessed with your, your cats? I just looked in Ferguson's eyes and in I was in photo. Love. Li literally, I saw a picture of him and I was like, this is my boy. I love you. He's sitting right there. I, I just him. love him. And I loved him from the moment I met him. And I was like, I love cats now. It wasn't like I did anything to overcome my hatred. I just like looked at Ferguson's photo and I loved him. And that was it. And now I oh, stop cats. and pet cats, stray cats on the road. And I Remember kiss them. Remember we talked about not kissing them though? I know, but I still kiss them. Anyone's got a rash because she kissed a homeless man's <laughs> dog on the face. So I kissed a homeless dog on the mouth. And then all of a sudden, a few minutes later, I was like, oh my God, my face is burning. And I had this huge rash. Oh. Side of my face because don't kiss stray animals, folks. <laughs> they deserved a kiss. How many kids do we want? I would like three, maybe. I would like, th I like three, but I also would like four. I was one of three, and I think I would have liked being one of four. Well, I technically am one, of four. one of four. It's complicated. <laughs> We definitely want more than one child. Oh yeah, we don't want one, it's very lonely. I have a sister, but she's 10 years older than me. As soon as she left, I became like an only child from 10 years on. And I was so lonely, just terribly lonely. I think definitely two, up to four, two yeah. to four. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that if you have any merch ideas, to leave them down below, I would love to see what you guys Think. Thanks to everyone that sent in their questions and we will see you guys really soon. We are trying to stick to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday posting schedule for 2021. I really, really, really want to do it this year. We are for sure. <laughs> so we'll see you on Monday. Every year we say this. But we this do. year we did vlogmas the whole time. We're in the yeah. in that. You will see us back here on Monday for another video. So we will see you then. We'll see you then. Alright, okay. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, no, <laughs> Wazzy. It's you who did this. Wazzy. Here. Did you see that, guys? Folks. Yeah, oh. we're getting a lighting change. Oh, look, the sun is coming The sun will come out tomorrow. Earlier on the treadmill, I was like, oh, it's Friday night. I can't wait to meet Like, <laughs> okay, I, I, well, yeah, actually, I can't include that. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Okay, bye. bye.